So what's going on guys? Back here with another banger. We got Sammy underscore plays here, special guest. So yeah, basically today we're gonna talk about the NFL playoffs. Uh, mm -hmm. He was actually at the Texans versus Browns game, but he's an Eagles fan. Yes, sir. Jalen Hurts jersey. So what, what was what, what was the experience like of the game? I mean, you know, just like it's crazy. Like it's especially when it's your first time in the playoffs too. Like it's 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 intense. Yeah. So like, how loud was the crowd? Like they were. Um, yeah. Uh, halftime show review, what would you rate it out of 10? Uh, I'd say a solid 8. I eight? mean, it, there wasn't that much of, like, uh, a big old stuff in the middle. It was just a little stage area. Yeah. But, like, they had some good songs. Uh, so, yeah, Houston Texans won that game. I, I thought, me personally, I thought that the uh, Browns were going to win that game. I thought it was going to be a close game. It was not a close game. Texans blew them out. CJ Stroud, bro, he he's going to be goaded in uh, years in the future. Uh, what what they said was they had him in an interview. I don't know if some of y'all heard this, but they told him, like, the Browns are the only chance of beating the Ravens. Um, Y'all are, like, done. Y'all ain't winning that game. He, CJ Stroud was like, we are. We are. Okay. okay, okay. And he dealt with that for yeah. He proved them all wrong. Don't be haters, bro. No, there's not a whole lot of people that really hate CJ Stroud. I mean, people don't like the Astros for because you know the cheating scandal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that broke out. And... Yeah, but football. I feel like a lot of people do like the Texans. Yeah, a lot of brownies <laughs> in the Texans stadium. I will say that more than I expected. Too many Miles Garrett jerseys. Stop respecting <laughs> them so much. Yeah. Um. Um. And they, they what both... I will say. Is when when the Texans hit about 30, 38 points, there was no more poop stains left <laughs> in the stadium. So yeah, I game over. I do not like their their jerseys. Like I'm I'm not trying to hate on Browns fans, but like y'all jerseys are. Okay. Bro, me and my dad were actually talking about. And my dad actually likes those jerseys. My dad's probably watching this video, but he actually <laughs> likes he actually likes their jerseys. I I, I like them, but. I mean, not the brown ones. No, no, not the brown ones. I do like their white and orange. They're white. I mean, it's 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 all right to me. I think it's just a little plain. But the br the brown, like there was too many people with the brown on. Them. Every time they scored, they they would bark, and then eventually, when they all left, it it was so crazy because the Texans would score a touchdown, the whole stadium, oh oh oh, they would start barking to mock <laughs> them. Bro, yeah, there was this one live streamer. Every single time that the Texans would score, he would have like, uh, where it would say spam F Houston or F uh, H O U, and the, the Texans won without Tank Dell. I mean, that yeah, like Tank Dell, he's been a big part in their offense until up to until he got Nico hurt. Collins carried carried single I mean, single Terry. Think think Nico Collins since when? Was he a good wide receiver? First year over a thousand yards, like his third year. I uh, I mean, okay. To be fair, his last couple of years he had Davis Mills throwing the ball to him. <laughs> That's not very good. Uh, I will say that. But this year, like he's making him look all pro right now. Like CJ, he just did. Yeah. I mean, it was a close game at first, but I mean. CJ Stroud. Uh, well, yeah, no, yeah. and then and the two interceptions. That was oh, game. Oh yeah, I saw them both. I remember Stephen Nelson picked it off. I saw my dad. We were we got the front row seats, like not not like front row, but like we were on the upper deck in the front row next to the class. Yeah, I, I can show a picture. Yeah, so we were there, and I uh, my dad was to the right of me, so I looked over there, and then my mom said, "Why can't we stop the ball?" The next play, my dude Steven Nelson grabs the ball, runs it for like, what is the 83 yard pick six? Jeez. And then I look at my dad over there. I'm up, I'm standing up, screaming, yelling, let's go. And then I look at my dad over here hugging this random guy. <laughs> no, he tried to high five him, like, give him two times. And then the guy should have hugged him. <laughs> and then I saw him and he came back over there and said, I just hugged Kevin Hart. <laughs> he, the guy kind of looks like Kevin Hart, so. Yeah. 
But yeah, overall a great game by the Texans. They're my second favorite team, but honestly they're approaching my favorite team. Because the Cowboys will we we know what happens in the playoffs, right? Dak Prescott, the biggest choker in the world. But next game <laughs> Dolphins and Chiefs. I, I I didn't watch the entire game. Bro, uh but and Chief, and Chiefs had coach frozen mustache. I uh I was watching it but I stopped at halftime. Uh yeah, I mean, Patrick Mahomes, he did his thing. But, I mean, Rasheed Rice, he, he actually did pretty good in that game, surprisingly. Like, yeah, their wide I thought it was going to be a close game. Yeah, yeah. But, no. A lot of blowouts in the wild card. Right? I know. Like, like high-scoring games. That is a big thing about these freaking wild card games. Like, yeah. I mean, I didn't watch too much of that game, but Cowboys... Cowboys versus Packers. Packers on top. That is ridiculous by the Cowboys. Yeah, I, I had Cowboys winning. Uh, oh, on Google it said what's trending. Uh, random, random stuff. It says what trend, what's trending is Kelsey and Swift. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. I, I, oh yeah. We need to mention that for the Chiefs versus Dolphins game. Kelsey could not catch the ball. He dropped know, three. Bro. No, it was so funny. Uh, so, me... so he made. He, he got a first down. I'm pretty sure. And you, uh, the camera cut to Taylor Swift cheering. And then, very next play, Kelsey dropped the ball. It was so funny. Oh, I just realized that. The, yeah, it, was it a, wasn't that high. It was like a, a pretty big scoring game, like big gap between the two teams. But uh, it wasn't that high of a scoring game. Yeah, but it was funny seeing Kelsey drop the ball. Mm -hmm. There's so many Chiefs bandwagon fans now. That's All right, so Lions and Rams. Live right now. Yeah. Well, we'll recap a little bit of their uh, game. Yeah. But for first, but anyways, let's do uh, Cowboys, Cowboys yeah. and Packers. It started off all Packers all the way. I guess Escott. I guess they put in, like, their their, their backups. Because there's no way they, they gave up 14 points. I mean, and then Dak Prescott, two interceptions. <sighs> I mean, Joe Flacco, two pick sixes. I mean, that's a bit worse, <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, Prescott also with uh, he had one almost pick six, but they said that the guy was already down, and then his other uh, hit his actual pick six. Yeah, I mean Cowboys, they're they're notorious for choking. It's insane how bad Dak Prescott is. In All the right, play. Cowboys fan, stop celebrating your success. <laughs> oh, the first quarter just ended fourteen three. Lions on top. I I'm going for the Lions. Same, personally. Same. I imagine if this ages terribly and like the Lions choke, but I'm saying this Lions are they're gonna blow off the Rams. I, it's looking pretty high, but like the that's only their second possession. I think like it could be really close. That's it's, it's I'm being it's skeptical. Uh, any score predictions for the Lions versus Rams? It's fourteen three right I, now. I I think the Lions are gonna go off. Uh, let's go for. 35 31. Let's go with that. Packers, uh, they, they almost choked at the end. The the Cowboys almost pulled off a, a comeback. If we would if the Cowboys would have gotten that touchdown with two minutes left, then it would have you know, it still the game would have still been over, but there would have been a chance for a two point conversion. Two, oh, two on. point conversions. Let me go ahead and look at these playoffs right here. We have AFC games. Uh, Chiefs over Dolphins. Texans over Browns. That's one. <laughs> Anyways, so we need to do some predictions now. What I'm going to say is that tomorrow, if the Steelers beat the Bills, then they're going to face. Uh, Baltimore, but if they if they lose, then Texans face Baltimore. I'm praying they win. I don't. I don't want to get. I want to. I, I want to try to get to the championship round. There. I don't think there's a way. There may be. Maybe. Because then we'd play the Chiefs. Oh, rematch! I think, I think we could beat the Chiefs. I think so. I think the. I'm, I'm positive in the Texans. Oh, oh. So the Packers, the seven seed, the seven seed beats the two seed Cowboys. And you know what that means? The seven seed goes to face the one seed. Oh my gosh. The 49ers. I'm, I'm excited to see that game. 
I mean, the Packers showed that they're that they, they're, they're good. a contender. Like, uh, mm-hmm. though I will say this: Dak Prescott did choke. So, well, he he's the the first half he did terrible. Second half was a little better. But uh, I just realized uh, the Bucks are four seed and the Eagles are five seed. Oh, well that's oh, because they, they won. Yeah, they yeah. didn't win the division. But uh, Eagle, honestly, as a Cowboys fan. Um, I kind of, I'm kind of wishing that we lost the division. <laughs> the games that haven't played are Steelers, Bills. Okay, let's start with that one. Okay, I'll start with that one. I think Steelers, Bills. I want the Steelers to win, but it's it's not ideal. Uh, I'm gonna go Bills. Whoop them, thirty-one to thirteen. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I don't think. Hey, the Texans absolutely whooped the Steelers in the regular season week three. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but it was a it was a pretty big. I mean, that, that was whenever uh, mm-hmm. the Texans were still developing. Whenever they yeah. um, lost to the Panthers uh, during that time. Yeah, but that that's before CJ Stroud was a stud. Yeah, he understood the NFL. We did play Baltimore in week one. Which didn't turn out so well. We we uh, didn't do good. It was uh, I didn't even watch that game on television or anything. Eagles versus Bucks. Eagles versus Bucks. I mean, you gotta say Eagles, right? I mean, I don't want to be biased, but they should win that game. I mean, they should. They're... They lost to the card. I don't know what's going on with the team right now. They're broken down. AJ Brown. Is AJ injured. Brown is out. Uh, knee sprain. That's, that's that's a big part of our playoffs. That's a big part of our team. We got to trust Devontae Smith. Is Quez, is Quez Watkins? 29-21 Eagles, my prediction for that. Oh, Rams scored already. Oh, oh then uh, maybe it isn't going to be a blowout. <laughs> I think that I was already wrong on that. Hey, oh, uh, you did see the Super Bowl colors. I mean... But the, the, that is a th- that's just a theory. Anyways, can I? I'm gonna show y'all this steak I had. Hey, uh, right here. Yeah, uh, I, I can I can pull it up on Ooh. screen. Damn. Yeah, salt grass like that. I asked for a sirloin. They gave me a sirloin. My dad got ribs. You guys, you can put that in the video. That's that. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, like not not a, it's about. The Cleveland Browns trade Deshaun Watson because they gave us those first round picks. Yeah, you know how that turned out. CJ, that was you, CJ. I I feel bad for the Panthers. They could have had CJ Stroud, but no, everybody. That's was what mad. they wanted. That's what they. That's who they wanted. But then there's this like test thing I heard. Yeah, there, there's a and, test. And he did like Stroud. really bad, and he said that test don't matter. I, everybody was mad about the Texans winning their final game, uh, but hey, well, look who they got. They got C.J. Stroud instead of Bryce Young. I mean, pick. honestly, I'm not with the hate against Bryce Young. They're, the Panthers' O line is horrible. <laughs> uh, they need a rebuild. Like they got Bryce Young. Like this is our franchise quarterback. Let's go. We should win more games. This draft is. So so quarterback heavy. There's a guy, uh, look him up, college player Cameron Ward. He's from my area. Oh, I, I know who he is. Yeah. Uh, I watched him at Sport Clips. Uh, I was getting a haircut and I was watching him. My PE teacher actually taught him, which is cool, I think. But he's he went he declared eligible eligible for the draft, and the coach was like, well. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, because this draft is all quarterback heavy. I mean, Caleb Williams, all of them, all of them. Like, I think that he's related to the people uh, where I live. We, we live in kind of separate parts, like 45 minutes away, something yeah, like that. Something. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty cool that he's around this area. Eagles, Bucks. Yeah. Let's say. I, I think I already told them my prediction. Mine is going to be low, though. Like, I want to go. 27, 19, Eagles on 28. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, I don't want to be boring and say 49ers versus Ravens, but. I Honestly, mean, like, I think the Ravens are going to win. Like, they I, I beat think, San Francisco bad. And, 
Lamar Jackson. Score check on Rams versus Lions. Score check. Pretty sure 1410. Probably still. 2110. Oh. Okay. 10. I hope that the Lions win. I want the Lions to win. Uh, Detroit, it's never had any sports history. Well, Tigers back like yeah, in nineteen hundreds. Never been good in the uh, uh, Pistons. Yeah, the the Pistons. Ooh, they didn't. They the twenty eight game losing streak. They didn't break the record, but they, they tied. Were, they tied it. That's that's incredible. pretty sad. That's, uh, that's, that's sad. But now they have a Detroit team in the playoffs. GG. Lions, Lions win. Lions win. Ah! Oh yeah, boy. Hey, stop filling me with my, my without my hurt bro. <laughs> That's game. Oh yeah, Lions with the win. Take that. B L A. B L A. B L A. B L A. Their first playoff game in such a while, man. That makes the Detroit fans smile. Hey! hey you got the wraps. Oh, it's T boy. Right here, joining, joining us. Yeah. I don't want to get biased. I know. I bet the Ravens will make it. Um, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I think Super Bowl winner. Let's go Ravens. All right, Ravens. I got. Yeah, I mean, right here, purple for the Ravens. I, I guess you're not a Ravens fan, but you got purple. I mean, yeah, got purple on. So hey, guys. If this video, this is my long jacket. Don't don't hate. Uh, if this video gets, let's say ten likes, I'm not going for too many. Just like, okay, ten likes, then I will get a Lamar Jackson jersey. Oh, okay. Wait, then then we might want to bump. Yeah, up. yeah. Let's go. Twenty. All right, twenty likes. 20, twenty likes. Twenty likes, and I'll get a Lamar Jackson jersey. All right. So I, I I'm gonna have yeah Ravens winning. Uh, against 49ers, I mean, I don't nice. want to say who they're gonna go against because the NFC is all. Oh, don't know. So yeah, that, that'll pretty much do it. Uh, make sure to go subscribe to this man, uh, Sammy Plays, and yep, yeah, go subscribe to my channel and yeah, you guys get 20 likes so he has to buy a Lamar Jackson jersey. <laughs> yeah, and I'll post it on my page. Alright, so, yeah, peace, guys. B-L-A, B-L-A, B-L-A. their first playoff game in such a while. Man, that makes the Detroit fans smile. Hey!